The Church of Almighty God is a fast-growing uh, new religious movement uh, credited uh, by the Chinese authorities with three to four million people. It teaches that Jesus Christ came down to earth in the shape of a Chinese woman they worship as Almighty God. 在山东省招远时，麦当劳快餐店内发生。经本台记者向警方核实，被害人吴某某今年三十六岁，当地岐山。When you read the transcript of the trial, it's clear it was a different religious movement worshiping as Almighty God their two leaders, not the person the CAG recognizes as Almighty God. They say, and we are completely different people. We have nothing to do. And in an interview, one of the two leaders said she was not even able to contact the Church of Almighty God because it was too secretive. Since 1998, the Chinese Communist Party has conducted a systematic disinformation campaign against religious minorities in their country. This has included Falun Gong, the Church of Almighty God, and other groups, and similar strategies have been employed against political activists, especially environmental workers. I'm very grateful to my colleague, Dr. Introvigna, for releasing this book that has critical fact-checking on a group that is frequently misunderstood in Western media because of information falsely fed to Western journalists by the Chinese government. This is a very important book for providing needed information in a very complicated political time. Thank you, Dr. Intravenia. I just received my copy of Massimo Intravenia's new book, Inside the Church of Almighty God. It's an important book about what the Chinese call Seiya Jiao. Anyone who studied modern Chinese religion know this term, uh, it's important because the term Seiya Jiao has been confused in the West with the term cult. And all of the misinformation about Western cults have been uh, put into Chinese uh, religious studies because of that. Massimo Zentrovigny's book is the first major scholarly study of the Church of Almighty God, an important new Christian movement emerging out of China. It reads like a detective story as it sheds light on the persecutions of the movement by the Chinese authorities. And it is also a fascinating exploration of the theology and the practices of this new group that, because of the situation in China, is now gradually developing in the West. Massimo does a good job of ferreting out the issues of, around the Church of Almighty God, of talking about its life, its doctrine, its beliefs, its history, uh, and introducing us to this group that is now the most important uh, group under attack in China uh, at this particular moment. I highly recommend this book. I believe that this book can be very important in understanding the real situation of the uh, members of the Church of Almighty God in China for those who are dealing with refugee status around the world.